Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. We're out at the cabin today. Um, it's right after the 4th of July. It's like the 7th of July. It is hot. I mean it's been hot for the whole week. Um, I wanted to get out here. Uh, I've been working pretty steady and just didn't make it. Uh, if you watch my last video, um, I installed a converter, you know, an uh, AC converter so that I could have electricity out here off of a couple batteries instead of running my generator all the time. Generator's fine uh, when I want to run something heavy duty, but just for some lights and for my wood stove, the inverter works a lot nicer. Um, the lights I did put up this morning, at least on the downstairs. You know, the loft I have and I have two left. I've got these type, they're actually shop lights. And I've got two left for upstairs. You know, they're, I don't know, 30 watts a piece. They're equivalent to, <laughs> you know, I mean, they're equivalent to 120 watts or whatever. Uh, incandescent, they're, they're more than that, or, you know. But even like uh, fluorescent, you probably wouldn't want to put fluorescent in uh, on a power system like, like I have set up. Because it's, you know, low power, the batteries wouldn't last that long. Um, this actually is really, really handy. The, th the three downstairs uh, lights that I put in take a total of 80 watts. So my wood stove, when I tried it, just fired it up, or fired up the blower, uh, that took another 40 watts. So 120 watts to run those two things, hopefully, you know, will be long term. That's the hope. Um, I probably, right now I'm just using a couple of volt batteries, 12 volt flooded lead acid. Um, I've contemplated uh, getting some good off-grid batteries, uh, lithium, I can't do lithium here. Uh, it's, this is Wisconsin and we don't often have weather like this where it's 90 degrees and, and 70 dew point. Uh, most of the time, you know, about six months out of the year it's freezing. So, and then it's below zero a couple months out of the year. And, those lithium batteries don't handle that well. Now lead acid, of course, they handle everything. Um, of course, they don't store as much electricity. It's a trade-off. So plus, the, the nice thing is lead acid are quite a bit cheaper. They're less than half the price. So, and both batteries for now seem to be working for what I have, you know, intended. Um, but I think I'll grab the camera. I'll take you inside and show you how they work, and uh, we can talk about it in there. Okay, uh, basically they're on little pull chains to turn them on, um, but I've got them to come on. I got them set to come on right away. So power up the inverter, hold that down for a second, lights come on. So I'll pan us around here. You can see what they are. They're, it's a simple lighting system. There's, uh, you know, there's all different ways of doing it. Um, I had some suggestions on a previous video, which were good suggestions of running 12 volt uh, lights, and they probably would be a little more efficient. You know, obviously these are um, 120, and then they have to have a uh, inverter, or I mean a transformer built in. You got a little bit of transformer buzz, but uh, not bad. Uh, really lights the place up nice. Um, here, let's pan you around a little bit. Now I got to keep the place cleaner, I guess, because uh, everything shows up well. So, but anyway, that's that's what I've been doing today, and I got those in, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we'll go back outside, and I'll show you basically the system again in case you missed the last video, and uh, get you up to date on what's going on here at the cabin. All right, we're on the north side of the cabin. Uh, basically, this is where all my electrical stuff is, and not a lot of stuff yet. Um, but I got two batteries hooked in parallel. That's your 12 volts. It's a 12 volt inverter against the wall. That's a generator. It's an inverter generator, so it actually will charge 12 volt or 120, depending on which plug-in you're using. Um, so I've been just keeping the batteries up with the generator. And then plus if I use the generator keep, I can plug in the 12 volt plus the 120, you know, no big deal. Um, I got a cord run through the wall, which
which is what I did through all of them. Uh, for all of them, there's probably, I think there's two holes. Um, I went right through the, the logs, which was a challenge, but it, they went through. They're about a foot thick. What I did is I hooked up an extension cord, basically. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty good Romex wire. Uh, it's like number 10, I think. And uh, yeah, actually it's 10 according to this. So this then is into an outlet. And that outlet is on the ground floor, and that outlet is upstairs. And they're hooked together. And I haven't hooked the one upstairs completely yet. But you can plug this in, and then you have 120 off the generator here. So, like, the big thing is my vacuum. I use a shop vac to clean, uh, clean the cabin. And if I do that off of the inverter, it'll run it. It runs it pretty well, but it won't run it very long. <laughs> the batteries die pretty fast. So, to alleviate that situation, I have this set up. And uh, this works. It works okay. Um... Other than that, in the future, and I already have the panels, my little brother bought me panels, um, we're going to put in a solar array later this summer, I'm hoping. Now my plan is we're going to put the solar array in this opening over here, behind, it would be on the northwest side of the cabin. Um, right now, the sun is directly overhead, so we have to make it adjustable because it does lose sunlight depending on the time of year. And that's just the way it goes when you're dealing with solar. Uh, in this setting, I mean, if I pan around here, and you can see the trees, I'm in a little opening, but all around the crown of the, the trees, it just blocks everything here. Let me pan us around. Now, there's the top of the cabin. Of course, here's your southern exposure, and it goes all the way up. So the cabin doesn't really heat up if it's from direct sunlight. If it's, it's usually just air temperature. But yeah, and then over here, it's all hemlock. And hemlocks are notorious, you know, for blocking the light. Uh, actually, the wind, too. Plus, they rarely ever break. So that's where we're at there. The canopy covers up everything, a lot of shade. So about the only place close to the cabin would be over here by the river. There's a nice, I don't know, probably a four or five hour window here. So I think that's what we'll do. And it's not too far away. Uh, there are two polycrystalline panels and they should work nice for what I have in mind. And uh, that way it'll keep it topped up. Now in the future, it's a possibility also of putting wind generator on the roof. But yeah, that's another problem and there's always solutions to that but i think that right now the solar is the best option so um, i have all the components i just haven't put them together yet and hoping to get a little bit of help for that one so anyway if you made it this far i'm glad you watched and uh keep keep tuned to the channel i'll try to do some more stuff uh cabin wise and i like hiking and, and that kind of thing too and fishing so uh, i'll try to cover everything in the outdoors to a point and uh, um, the other thing i guess is i'm going to start shooting everything in 4k as far as video and uh, it seems that a lot of people watch youtube on like a fire tv that's 4k so actually you know it'll it, it'll get its use that way otherwise a lot of times you don't you know if you got 720p or whatever it's it's not very good video so we're gonna try it but uh anyway thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.